Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Jacqueline Schnau, and I'm the founder and CEO of Pumpkin Organics. We are out of Germany, so it's quite late here. So it's very exciting to join you guys um, in the Valley and share our purpose and our message. We are redefining baby food. Baby food right now sounds simple, but it absolutely has to be reimagined. We right now are in a really crucial time. Children need our help and it needs to break through. Baby food can redefine children's success because food choices during this period of the first thousand days can have an impact on lifelong health, happiness, and performance. And right now we are overlooking this. It is actually affecting everything in terms of development, um, personality development, physical development, performance in school. And the reality is in this first thousand days, a baby can be pre-programmed to fall in love with healthy food. They can learn to crave it. When you think about it, think of the impact this could have on society and productivity and like even economic generation if we raise a healthier part of our society. Right now, babies are being pre-programmed to fall in love with unhealthy food. Think of the baby food on the shelf. It is too sweet. It is full of fruit. Babies cannot process fruit in their bodies. It is bland in taste. So even if it's meat or vegetables or whatever, people don't expand the baby's taste palette. And the third problem is there's not enough ingredients. So we are actually training picky eaters. Now, the majority of the baby food is doing this and this is where we are disrupting. We are different. Our products are developing the baby's food palate. Our products are helping the baby fall in love with vegetables and understand that not everything delicious has to be full of sugar and thus fruit. Our products are giving functional benefits when the baby needs it most. And our products are supporting parents with clear information, how to train healthy habits for the child and giving our products with purpose. We are setting the new nutritional and functional standards for baby food. And we call this baby food with purpose. Just to give you a small insight on our products, we are a plant-centric um, baby food company. Our products right now have over half, less than half the sugar of the traditional baby products. We have more than double the amount of vegetables and this is where true nutrition comes from. And our soups, our muesli jars, actually have the same amount of protein as existing jars and foods on the market with meats and fish, but plant-based with chickpeas and lentils and different oils that actually bring omega-3s benefits as well for the brain development. Really startling fact, 80% of our brains are formed in our first thousand days. So why are we not putting everything we've got into infant nutrition? It's a question we really, really need to ask. Our market is huge. In Germany alone, it's 1 billion euros. And this, and we are already going across um, into other countries. We are the fastest growing brand right now in Germany. We have, you can see our number of stores that we're in. We're growing over in 2000 stores. We're a little over three years old. So we're just starting. Our revenues this year are approaching 2 million euros. And we already have um, 20 mark products in market and we still have eight more coming this year. Now, how can we grow? The birth rate is increasing around the world. Parents are getting older or, or with that first child. They want higher disposable income. Parents are craving options with less sugar. This isn't about the lowest common denominator product to put in the market. This is about what is the best for our children to develop. Products with nutritional benefits and products with a modern brand that understand parenting. We are parents. We understand the demands of working moms, working dads, and children that we want to give the best start in life to. This is a chart. I don't expect you to read it all, but the point is we have a plan to go globally, to be a globally challenger brand. We're right now in Germany, Austria, France, and Hong Kong. And as you can see, we're moving out. We're also going to expand our uh, age that we target. So we right now target the baby, but we will be expanding to target the child. We do have a full strategy on how we want to help parents contribute to the healthier society of our children. Our team is very experienced. Um, I've been in the food industry over 15 years um, to some of the leading brands, and I understand what 
food means. I come from Saskatchewan in Canada, which is the red basket of Canada. Sustainable farming, impact farming, connection with farmers, it's all who we are and what we're trying to do. And we have some of the leading innovators. So I leave you with this. We have the shelf space, we have the right retail and production partners, we have the right respect of the industry leaders and some of the biggest doctors out there, and we have the right products. We're raising our Series A right now. We would love to have you join us if you're looking to have an impact on child nutrition. And with that, I'll turn it over to questions and saying thank you for having us. That's a great presentation. Thank you. You're a very good speaker, considering you're from Germany. That's very impressive. <laughs> well, actually, I'm Canadian. Just I met, came to Germany for love. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering. You know, it sounds like a native, doesn't sound like a German English. <laughs> Very good. So, <laughs> pumpkin is my well, my favorite uh, uh, food. Uh, so, mm -hmm. I really love pumpkin. Well, the question I have for is that uh, uh, right now, uh, uh, since uh, you know, the food, different type of food have different, uh, they call the health and, and benefit. Yes. Uh, so, um, so is, uh, uh, is uh, what type of food? Is, is pumpkin something pumpkin something the kids can eat a lot for instance some food people uh, it's good uh, like meat you cannot eat meat all day long just give some examples have you guys done any research on like a, a month let's see if the baby is solely rely on pumpkin food is that okay or not um actually pumpkin is our name um growing up i'm pumpkin from in my family but we have but pumpkin is one of the main vegetables. So our main um, components are all the vegetables, all the legumes, all the whole grain oats without wheat, because we do not use grains that are over farmed. So we focus on the ancient grains and the pseudo grains that have a real strong nutritional value. But your question is very important. It is proven. There is numerous science articles out there from leading researchers and doctors to show children need to develop the taste palate. And they do this by introducing um, different ingredients, many ingredients, but quite young. As soon as the child has proven there's no allergy, bring it on. Think of what a child eats for the first time in Mexico or Japan or Sweden. There is nothing to say a child cannot eat what we eat, just in the right terms. So no salt, a little bit less spice. But it's up to us. We are in control of really a lot of our child's future performance because it is linked to nutrition. Jacqueline, uh, Lisa here in Singapore, I think Hi. your purpose is very admirable and certainly across Thank Southeast you. Asia, there is a, a huge issue with uh, child nutrition. Yeah. Um, what do you see as being the game changer for you in being able to get traction into the market? What are the, the three key milestones that are going to transform your business? So the first one is actually um, just exposure on how important nutrition is to an upbringing of a child because the current market right now is really about fruit-based products that the, is cheap to produce readily available and that the child loves because sugar makes you crave more sugar right mm -hmm. this is the one thing so this is we need to get more governments schools ngos to talk about nutrition and with that brands like ours and others, it's not just about us growing, we are in this for a purpose. And it's about getting children access to healthier food. So it needs to come top down and it needs to go bottom up. Startups in the food industry, it is so expensive to start up because of regulation, R&D, brand development, hiring a team. So we need investors that actually want to back a company that is truly purpose-driven and give us a bit of time and support to break through. So the first one is top down. The second is getting the support from the bottom. And third takes a hell of a lot of heart and hard work because we are going up against heart, like brick walls all the time. But with passion and support in our network, we can break through. And we've seen it already. We're only three years old. We had to create new categories with the retailers but the retailers are craving innovation. So they're there. So as long as we can get products to them that really drive innovation and we can bring our customers along on our story, we can break through. Sounds great. Can we have now two more short questions? 
use short answers. Sorry, I love talking about threat and nutrition. <laughs> okay. I thought your pitch was incredibly passionate, Jacqueline. I think that there's a much needed white space and demand for that. Um, one piece of feedback that I would give, um, just kind of going on my general trend that I've been on about simplifying the slides, don't put a graphic on your slide that you know people aren't gonna take the time to read. Um, I would have loved to have seen um, a very detailed visual and easy to understand um, graphic of your go-to-market strategy in that place, in, in its place. Um, I think that would have been super helpful in taking away that necessary milestone information and, and, and smoothing out some of the, those questions, those still questions that I still have open about, you know, use of funds and, and, and what your next few months. Okay. Actually, we do have a general feedback session right after this. Thank you. Okay, great. Anybody else has a question for the last one? A short question and answer? Okay, thank you, Jacqueline.